Hi, my name is Kim Varner, and I want to speak to you in general terms about the DUI statute in the state of South Carolina. The DUI statute generally provides that if you are materially and appreciably impaired, either physically or mentally or both, then you're guilty of driving under the influence. These statutes change from state to state. However, in South Carolina, it not only covers what people would commonly refer to as drunk driving, but it also covers any kind of licit or illicit drugs. What that means is this, you don't have to be drunk, you don't have to be you know, falling down uh, with drugs, and this covers not only prescription medication, but also any illegal medication. And in South Carolina, you can be pulled over for any type of traffic violation. You can also be going through what's called a road safety checkpoint, or you could be involved in an accident. It is very important to remember that you have certain rights uh, under the South Carolina DUI statute. The first being is that you have the right to refuse to take any and all tests. If the officer asks you to please blow in his face so that he can smell your breath, you are not required to do that. They will ask you to perform a series of field sobriety tasks, which many of you have seen. That would be standing on one leg, walking the line, so to speak, and there's what's called the HGN test, which is the eye test. You have a right to refuse to take those tests in South Carolina. That will not be held against you. If you are arrested, you will also be taken to the local law enforcement center and be given the opportunity to blow on a breathalyzer machine. You have a right, again, to refuse to take these tests. If you do, in fact, refuse to take these tests, your license may be suspended in the state of South Carolina for a period of six months. If you do, in fact, blow on the test, if you blow over a 15, a .15, your license can also be suspended for up to 30 days. That's where a lawyer comes into play and it's important to consult with a lawyer prior to making any decisions. Once you're on the side of the road, um, you always be polite, always cooperate. Cooperate does not mean do everything that the officer tells you to do. If you feel that you will do fine on the physical test, then by all means, do your best, but pay very close and specific attention to the instructions given to you by the officer. If you choose to blow, or if you choose not to blow, uh, once you blow, you will be, those results can be used to your benefit or to your detriment. If you refuse to blow, again, be polite. Probably the best response to make in regard to any kind of test is, I want to consult with a lawyer prior to making any decision. Remember, you have certain rights. You will be videotaped taped at all points and times. Please be careful and govern your actions accordingly.